Excess weight is a huge risk factor for AFib. Obesity has been estimated to account for one-fifth of all AFib. Each one unit increase in body mass index is associated with a 3 to 8 percent higher risk of developing AFib. And this paper says one year after ablation, AFib recurrence is 20 percent more likely to occur in those who are obese compared to those who are just overweight. In the legacy trial, we saw a dramatic demonstration of the AFib preventing power of weight loss. In this study, the average BMI was around 33, which is obese. And those who lost 10% or more of their body weight had a 45.5% long-term probability of freedom from atrial fibrillation, whereas those who lost less than 3% of their body weight had only a 13.4% probability of long-term freedom from AFib. Many people hold strong opinions when it comes to how to lose weight, yet 69% of U.S. adults are overweight or obese. Regardless of personal opinion, research has proven that weight loss occurs as the consequence of a calorie deficit. Furthermore, reduced calorie diets result in clinically meaningful weight loss regardless of which macronutrients they emphasize. This should be achieved through long-term modification of dietary intake and increased physical activity. In studies that prove the AFib preventing power of weight loss, subjects participated in a structured weight management program. The proven results were not generated by individuals winging it on their own. And for that reason, participation in a structured weight management program is, I would say, critical to long-term ablation success. Excess weight has a massive impact on AFib risk, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Click here for the next video.